Hi, I'm Mira and welcome to Flow with Mira. It's standing Pilates time. This is the class that I taught on Sunday in my July community class. And there were some requests to put up this class on YouTube. So here we are, come. I added some arm weight for this class. It's an option. We did it without any arm weight and that was sweaty and our legs were shaking by the end of the class. So this is an option for you if you want to use the arm weight today. You can also use water bottles. It's just adding an extra challenge. Okay, we're going to start and put the arm weight on the side for a second. And this is my assistant for the day. Her name is Bo Key and she is training to be a dark astronaut. That's why she's got this beautiful color today. All right, so let's begin. We're going to start by finding our stand, finding our feet placement here. So have your feet parallel. Your toes are pointing forward, okay? Just hip width distance apart. So they're not as wide as the pelvis, it's slightly inward. So you are in the same alignment with the center of the hip here. Now just place your hands on the side, on the hip joint here. I want you to, now you got your parallel position, soften the knees a little bit so you're not hyperextending the legs. Now here, bring and lift the big toes up off the floor. So you press all eight toes down apart from the big toes, if you can do that. All right, and then you're going to bring that toes down, the big toes down, and then lift the eight toes up. All right, can be quite tricky here. And again, so you lift the big toes up. So what we're doing here, we're just gonna keep changing. What we're doing here is to wake up the muscles of our feet, right? Warming up our foundation to stand and find, to find our balance. And then bring the four toes, the four, eight toes up. Again, the big toes up. And last one, the eight toes, big toes down. Very tricky on my left foot here. Hang on, let me get my brain. There we go. All right, and then release that. Now, I want you to lift all 10 toes. So lift up, you know, like snuffleupagus, you know, this eyelash in the sesame street, the, the, the elephant thing, all right? I, I grew up with sesame street, so snuffleupagus uh, eyelashes. All right, so we got all 10 toes lifted up. Now keep them up and I want you to emphasize and press more on the big toe, the bulk of the big toes. Right, so you feel like you're rolling inward now. And then keep that ball of the foot there, then press the little toe, the ball of the little toes down as well. So you got the outer part of the feet. And then when you got that, you have I will need to press the heel down on the floor. So you're creating like a tripod, a tripod stand on your feet here. And now from there, pull up the quadriceps, the thigh muscle up, right? And you feel the arch of the feet, the muscle lifted up, and that is going to help you find your balance for the rest of the class. Now, I want you to keep lifting the arch, Release the toes down. Good stuff. All right, now arms long by the side, slight bend of the knees. We're going to start with some roll down. So we're going to in breath here. Exhale, we're going to roll down the spine, taking your body to wherever you feel comfortable today. All the way down, folding through the hip, if that's okay for you, and in breath. Exhale, and roll up again. And come up right. Two more time. We're going to start with just mobilizing our spine here, rolling down. Find easiness in the shoulder, neck, and the head. In breath. Exhale. We roll up and lifting up nice and tall. And last one. Exhale, rolling down vertebra by vertebra. And folding through the hip, in breath, exhale, roll back up again. Now we're going to go halfway. So we roll down halfway. Place your hands on your thigh here. Now I want you to send the pelvis back, bend the knees slightly more, and then 
reach the spine nice and long here. So you are in a diagonal table-like position. And then you exhale, we curve the spine. And then we in breath, we lengthen the spine. And then exhale, we curve and round the back. In breath, lengthen the spine. Now let's take the upper back into an upward arch here. Then exhale, the whole spine round as you press your hands gently to your thighs. Last one, in breath, arching the upper back. And exhale, rounding. And then from here, take an in-breath, we hold. Exhale, we roll the spine up, up, up. Brilliant. All right, now, turn face me. Oh, actually, I turn face you. You're probably still facing me. Here, I want you to have your hands on your hip here. Slight bend on the knees here. We're gonna do some pelvic rocks and some pelvic circles. So we're going to breathe that, curling the pelvis, tucking the bottom under, and then inhale, extend. Exhale, curling, and an in-breath, extend. Exhale, we run and extend. So just working on the lumbar spine and the pelvis region here into a flexion, into an extension, a posterior tilt and an anterior tilt. Two more, exhale and back. Last one and back. Come back to the center here. We're going to sway left and right. So we go to your right first and center and left and center. We're going to keep that ribcage nice and stable and just moving through the waistline. Exhale and center and sh and center. Sh mobilizing the hip area, mobilizing the pelvis sh and sh last on each side sh and sh now we combine all of that. We go forward, go to your right and to the back, to the left and forward, a little like salsa dance and around. So moving from the waistline to the pelvis region and around. We go back, side curl, side, back. Again, last one can be quite tricky. Just work on it, do your best and come back to center, other direction. We go forward and right, sorry, left for you and left, back and forward, left, back and forward, moving through the waistline. It's like you're playing, you know, the hula hoop, or you're doing a hula dance, something like that. You can also do that if you want to. And go one more. Okay. And straighten the legs. All right, it's time to get the arm weight. If you're using the arm weight with me, again, this is just optional. You do not have to use the arm weight. Like I said, we had a really good class and we were sweating. Legs are trembling even without the arm weight. All right, so here we go. We're gonna do some footwork here. Have your feet parallel. Again, lifting the arch off your feet here. All right, we're going to bend the knees, but I want your back to be nice and straight here, right? And then exhale, shh. knees over your feet. Exhale, shh. in breath down. Exhale, watch out that you don't lean your body forward, right? Your body's still upright, arms are forward. And then down, we're gonna do 10 of this. In breath, exhale, shh. and three more. Exhale, and two, exhale, and last, exhale. Let's go down again. In breath, we stay here. I want you to cross your hands, lift your right heel up. We'll do little pulses here. So we go up, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. Inhale, last set. Exhale, sh, sh, inhale, stay down, switch the foot. And we go, sh, sh, inhale, and sh, sh, in breath, and sh, sh, inhale. Two more set, sh, inhale, last set, inhale, and lower the foot, 
and release. Okay, now we're going to rise up onto the ball of the feet. So we're gonna rise up as you breathe out. Here, try to keep the heels up. You can also use a wall to help you balance. And we go down and press. In breath and press. So I run a monthly free community class where you can just join and we'll do a really awesome Pilates class together. If you haven't signed up, you can sign up through my bio link in my Instagram, Flow with Mira, and we'll send you an email with the login details to join for the class. And each month we have a different theme here. So next month, which is August, we're gonna be somewhere towards the end of the month. So we're gonna stay here, hold, cross, add a little pulses, there we go. Exhale, heel stay up, and two, in breath, three, in breath, four, whoa, hold my balance, in breath, five, in breath, now straighten the legs up and lower release. In a V position, just bring the heels together here. We're gonna rise up again, up onto the ball of the feet. My assistant is wandering around, giving me a little bit challenge to balance here. So we go, done. Thank you, Bokey. Exhale, in breath, exhale, in breath, exhale. That's a three, four. So we have this lady, Noreen, if you're watching this, I'm gonna say how much I appreciate you for turning up to my monthly community class without fail. Sis is, I don't know, probably in the 70s and she joined my class every month and she performed, wow, incredibly. You inspire me, Noreen, so thank you. We'll go one more time here and we stay down Fold the elbows, little pulses. We go. Exhale. In breath. Two. In breath. Three. In breath. Four. In breath. Five. In breath. Straighten the legs. Lower release. For the wide V position. All right, let's go. We open. Okay. Just do a little puke there. I hope she's okay. You're okay, Bucky. Let's go two. Exhale. And three. Exhale. And four. Exhale. And five. Exhale. And six. Exhale. And seven. Good girl. Good girl. Eight. Two more, nine. Last one, we stay. Lift your right heel up, little pulses for 10, no five. In breath, two. In breath, three. In breath, four. In breath, five. In breath, stay down low with the heel, we switch again. In breath, two, in breath, three, in breath, four, and last, down, down, lower, we'll lift, excellent. Just bring the foot a little closer, still an open position. Oh, poor baby. Okay, we're gonna rise up onto the ball of the feet. Here we go. All right, now let's do it. We go down, exhale. Now make sure that your knees fold over your feet here in the same rotation of your hip, the same rotation with your ankles. Again, and up, exhale, and up, exhale, and up. Four more, three, Two, one, we'll stay, a little pulses for five, and two, and three, and four, and 
Last five. And, and straighten up. Lower release. Well done. Bring the feet into parallel position. Okay, here we go. Hands can go here or on your hip. I'll leave it to you. We're gonna do our calf raises here. So we lift up to the ball of the feet and we lower. And exhale, we lower. Make sure you lift from your pelvic floor, from your center. Okay, imagine as an elevator lifting up from the base of the pelvis to your heart as you lift and down. And three more. And two more. And last one. We stay up, prancing lower one heel. We go down, down, exhale. Make sure the hip stays nice and quiet. We're not swaying down like in a catwalk. So it's nice and centered, nice and balanced. And in, in, exhale. And in, in, exhale. Two more set. Exhale. Last set. Exhale. Rising up. And we lower. Excellent. Okay. To the single leg footwork, we take your right foot off. Okay. You can have your hands here. Let's just have our hands here today. If you want some challenge with the arm, you can have your arms to the side like that. Okay, now here we go. What we're gonna do, we're gonna send the knees forward, keep your body up tall and extend, all right? And we go in and extend. Keep swiveling and in, extend and extend. That's a five here and now up and a six and now up. So everyone's welcome to my monthly community class. It's free. It happens on a Sunday, 4 p.m. GMT plus seven. Okay, so to sign up, if you have not signed up, it's on my bio in my Instagram, Flow with Mirror. Last one here, lift it up, we lower. Switch to the other leg, we lift the leg up. All right, find the balance and we go down. Extend, and we go down, extend and three, extend, and four. Make sure the spine stays long, five, and six, and seven, and eight, two more, last one, and, and we'll lower. All right, shake it out a little bit, All right? We're gonna do some spine twist here. So hands back behind your head, here. All right. Soften the knees. Lift tall to your right. Double breath. In breath. Exhale. In breath. Exhale. In breath. Exhale. In breath. Exhale. And the poor, poor puppy. She's not feeling very well today. You okay, Pokey? Exhale. So I tell you what, this week is about cleaning vomits for me. My daughter had a stomach flu and we had a day or two days of just trying to be with her and as well cleaning up after her. I'm not sure how many times I've done a day, but that's the beauty of having a beautiful child. Okay, let's lift it up. We love her very much. All right, take your arms down here. Right, we're gonna soften the knees again. Take your arms up to the sky. We're going to side bend over to your right. Straighten, bring it up, and we bend. Side bend to the left. Straighten, forward left, and we bend. And side. Now hold and reach long, lengthen the legs. Come back to center. We bend. Side, reach. And back. last one, down, side bend. We reach and back and down, side bend. We reach and back and arms down, okay? We're going to lift your right knee up, hands on the knee. Right, we go extend the arm and the leg come forward and press. 
in how we reach and back. Inhale, reach. The standing leg is nice and straight. You do not bend. And down. And two more. And back. And last one. Now we go to the back. We shoot back and body diagonal. One. And And two. And And three. And four. Five. One more, six, we come back and release. Other leg, we lift and straighten. And two, and, and three, and four. So this is my translation for double leg straight and single leg straight that we normally done on a mat. Let's go to the back. We take it back and back and down. And back, and two, and back, and three, and back, and four, and back, and five. This leg is straight. Last one, and back, balance, and release. All right, now hands behind your head here. Okay, bring the right leg up again. This is a crisscross. We're going to rotate. We curl, we lift, and center, rotate, we round, we lift, and center. You can also use a wall to help you balance here, and lift, center, and turn, and round, and lift, and center. Two more twists, and round, and lift, and center. Last one, twist, and round. And lift and center, lower the leg. We got the other leg. Lift up your left leg and we rotate. And and up and center. Rotate and round. Oh, balance and center. Rotate. That's a three. And up. All right, three more. Down and back and lift and balance two more. Boom. And and lift. Good. Last one. Hand round and balance. I'm losing it. And come back. Well done. Okay. Shake your arms, shoulders. Have your feet slightly wider. Maybe as wide as the pelvis, or slightly wider. We're going to do a sponge stretch. Variation to standing. We have the arms forward here. We roll down through the spine. And then... Whoa, we go down, then we're gonna lengthen the spine. Take your arm next to your ears. Your back is hopefully as straight as possible. We run back. We roll up. We lift. Again, we roll down. And then we're going to fold through the hip, reaching the arm in line with the spine. We run. We roll up. Arms are forward, two more. Right down. Lengthen, 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 flat. Exhale. And up. last one. Down. Lengthen, 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 lengthen. And back. Come back up. Arms to the side. And come on down. Okay. All right. Now. Let's go into taking your right foot off. I'm going to turn this side here. We can have your foot slightly off, your heel up, or you can bring it up straight to a tabletop here. Right, I'm going, to, I'm going to start here. Now I want to shoot that leg back. Right heel down, arms in line with the spine, and back up. And two, and back up. And three, and back up. Four, and back up. Last one, five, stay there. Now we take the arms back, five, four, three, two, one. We hold, left heel come up, one, and two, and three, and four, five. We hold, bend the elbow for five, two, three, four, 
Shred chicken wings. Five, we stay, hold that position, bend the back knee. We go down and shoot forward. We go two and shoot forward. We go three and shoot forward. Four, front heel stay up. Last one, we stay here, rotate to me. Exhale, inhale and twist. Twist, in breath, and twist, twist, in breath, and sh, sh, in breath, and two more sets, and sh, sh. last set, sh, sh. last one, sh, sh. come back, we lean forward, stretch the arm, we balance up and release. Add the leg, here we go. We get the leg up and we shoot it back and four, and two, and four, and three, and four, two more, and four. Last one, stay. We go back, two, three, four, five, we hold, we lift, two, three, Four, front heel up. Five, we skip the heel up, we bend the elbows. Five, and four, and three. Heel stay up here. Two, one, stay. Bend the back knee, and one. And shoot forward, two. And shoot forward, three. And shoot forward, four. And five, we Hold, rotate to me. And two. Pelvis stay stable here. And 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 two more sets. Last set. Last one. Come back. Lengthen. Bam, reach it up. Good job, shake those shoulders. We're gonna keep the weight down and we're gonna finish the class with some really nice stretch here. So we're gonna take the arms up. Your legs are slightly, your feet are slightly wider than your pelvis here. And now we're gonna go into side bend. Fold through the hip, reach your body diagonally here. Right, folding through the hip, come back, face me, and center, and to your left. Fold through the hip, reach your back diagonally. I've got to clean that later. And then come back and center, poor baby. And reach through the hip, come back, and center. Again, side bend. We fold diagonally. And side. I'd like to take this opportunity to thank all the people who has turned up to my monthly community class from across the globe. I am so thankful you, each one of you inspire me and energize me every month. Okay, we go. Now we'll take it further. We reach here, we're gonna fall through the hip. We're gonna take it forward, swing it over to the other side. We'll lift in that diagonal line. Side bend, come back. And side bend, fall through the hip, down, over, flat, side, and back. You know, it's really lovely to do a class with people across in Europe, Australia, Asia, con Asian countries, New Zealand. Wow, just amazing, amazing, amazing. And back and in center. And we go. South Africa, I'm sorry, I gotta say my South African team. You guys are wonderful. Bernadette, Sherry, Carl. Maria, I see you on the screen and I'm so pleased that you are, you joined me. All right, let's go one more set here. And, and lovely to see, you know, improvement through with all the people, students that I see online. 
again, reach out. Not to mention, we have people from India. Ruchi, I haven't forgotten you. Come back up, center, and release. We go, clear, exhale, two more. Exhale, last one. Exhale, bring the legs together, walk it, walk it, walk it, walk it. One roll down, in breath. Exhale. Run in the back, bring your body over, over, softening the knees. Maybe rest your body on top of your thigh. <sighs> Little side down here. <sighs> Let the head go floppy here. And let's go ahead and roll up through the spine. Up, 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 lifting up tall. <sighs> Boom, you're done. Thank you for joining me today. And how your legs are going? <laughs> Mine felt a little shaky, but uh, thank you. I'll see you back on another class tomorrow. And if you'd like to join my community class, it's free every month. You just gotta sign up and we'll send you the email and you got the login detail to join every month. Take care, have a good day. Congratulations on completing the class, well done. I'm Mira and I'm here to help you to look and feel your absolute best through Pilates. If you enjoyed this video, you will love my free Better Postures in 5 Days program. Click the first link in the comments and sign up. I will instantly send you a daily email with a 15 to 20 minute workout each day. This workout will work your whole body to help open, stretch and strengthen your posture. Your spine and body will love you. Don't forget to like and comment with any question you may have about Pilates. Subscribe and turn on notification so you don't miss any of my free Pilates video. See you in the next class.